Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing fractions. Specifically, that is standard 3.3D in the great state of Texas. And we will be using item number 23 off the 2018 STAR test. If you have not already done so, go ahead and pause the video and work the problem on your own. When you're finished, unpause it and we'll see if we can figure out our answers together. So this is a deceptively simple problem. It looks like we've just got a few books. It's on a shelf. Some are shaded. Some are unshaded. This is really going to test what we know and don't know about fractions. First, it's this little term right there. That shaded represents nonfiction. We have to make sure we understand that. I'm just going to put a little NF at the bottom of each of these shaded books. We're going to see why that's just important in a minute. So three out of the four books are NF, or non-fiction. So look at our problem down here. It says, which expression represents the fraction of the books on the shelf that are non-fiction? So we need to find the fraction that represents the number of books on the shelf. But notice it's not just one fraction. It's an expression. So an expression is kind of like an equation, but it doesn't have an equal sign. So you're doing some kind of operation, addition, subtraction, and you don't have an equal sign. That's what we're going to see as an expression here in third grade. So we've got A has got one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. B has just got three one fourths. C has got three one thirds. And then D has got three over one or three ones. So let's see what the difference are because I can see where each of these come from. So if we're looking at the whole shelf right here, so this is going to be one whole. So let's look at these books as one whole, right? And then that means that this one whole is broken up into four parts, four books. So I'm going to put one fourth right here, one fourth right here, one fourth right here, and then one fourth right here. And if we were to draw a circle, we can see why that works. If you take one fourth and another one fourth and another one fourth and another one fourth, guess what? I've just circled, I just filled in the entire circle, the whole circle. So now we need to understand the two different parts of our fraction. So the numerator is our top number. And the numerator is going to select for us or represent which items are selected. Sometimes they're shaded, sometimes they're highlighted. And so the number of pieces. So that's going to be the number of pieces or number of selections, right? And then our denominator is going to be our total. It's always, the numerator can change, but the denominator uh, can will always stay the same as the whole right here. So how many total pieces do we have? Well, that's easy. We've got four total pieces, four total books. And then each of these books is one fourth, right? So we've uh, they're broken up into, into one fourth there. And so the question is, is, is it going to be A or B? C and D are both incorrect. The reason where this, this one third or the three over one, where that comes from, is that is your, um, if we can pretend that this non-shaded one is fiction, this is your fiction over non-fiction. There's one fiction, there's three non-fiction, and this happens to be three fiction over one, three non-fiction over one fiction. They just flip them. But both of those are wrong because, remember, the denominator is always the total. There are a total of four books. That's why we need to get four books. But how many are we going to add? Well, that's where this comes in. We need to represent the nonfiction. And there are three nonfiction. Now, each nonfiction is going to be represented by one fourth because each nonfiction is going to have one out of the four total books. But there's only going to be three nonfiction. We're not including this last one. So the answer is going to be this B right here. A would be correct if you wanted both fiction and nonfiction, but it just wants nonfiction.